Right, in this video we shall use prime factor trees to find the highest common factor and the lowest common multiple of two numbers. Right, so the question will be find the HCF and the LCM of, let's choose two numbers, let's go for 56 and 72. So the first thing we do is draw our prime factor trees for each number. Now remember the prime numbers before we start this. The prime numbers, and I'll write these at the top, are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, and so on. We probably don't need to know any more than that to perform the prime factor trees. So, 2 goes into 56 28 times and you'll notice that I have ha put a circle around the prime factor. We continue with the tree. 2 goes into that again 14 times. 2, oops slight mistake, let's just get back. So 2 goes into that 14 times. 2 goes into that seven times. Now I need to put a circle around the seven as well because if you look at the top, seven is one of the prime numbers. Right, that tree is finished and I know it's finished because both numbers at the bottom are prime numbers and I've circled both of them. Right, we do a tree now for the 72. Well, two goes into that. 36 times, 2 goes into that 18 times, 2 goes into that 9 times. Now be careful here, some people think that 9 is a prime number, but if I look in the list here at the top, 9 does not appear, so I've still got to continue. Now 2 won't go into 9, so the next prime number, if you look in the list, is a 3. So I must now See how many times 3 goes into 9. So 3 goes into 9 3 times. Once again, I've finished because I've put circles at the bottom. Now, I've got to collect my results now. So I'll go to a different page um, and try and remember what I've written. So the first result was 56. And that was made up of 2 times 2 times 2 times 7. I think that was right. Yes, that's correct. And I need my results for 72 now. And I'll write these underneath. So 72 was made up of 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Now, let's work out HCF first. You always work out HCF first. So remember, highest common factor is what, what is the biggest number that goes into both 56 and 72. Well, we have a strategy here, and the strategy is as follows. I'm going to use that too. That too. And that too. Because they appeared in both of the lists. Now I then scan for any other common numbers in both lists and you can see that there's a 7 in the top number, sorry, yes in the top number, but there isn't a 7 um, down in the second row. So I can't use any more common numbers. So I work that out now. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. So the answer to the highest common factor is 8. Now, I now can work out lowest common multiple. And the reason we did highest common factor first is that I use this answer as my starting point. And then I times it by whatever is left. So there's a 7, a 3, and a 3. So a 3, a 3, and a 7. And then I work that out. Um, now I'd use a calculator. Um, 8 times 3 times 3 times 7. 
I'm just firing up my calculator now. So eight times three times three times seven. And remember this will be quite a high number, 504. So that means that 504 is the first number that appears in both the 56 and the 72 times table.